You watch the videos in full screen? Well, good. <laughs> I always put that up there, don't I? Watch in full screen. Uh, supposedly, there's people that's got big 80, 90 inch TVs, and they all gather around the TV and watch my videos. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I've heard. I crap bigger than you. By the way, you did not have to tell me. I could tell you were on the junk. All right. Uh, little dick, huh? Yeah. Well, at least you got one. <laughs> I was told years and years and years ago, you will see the destruction of your enemies. You will see how we expose them and then destroy them. And today is one of those Folks, days. Even if you don't believe in the Mandela effect, I think you're going to find this video very interesting. Now I can tell you, this I know. <laughs> this this really this this really got me. You know, I got to say this got me. This, I'm not going to spoil it, okay? I don't want to spoil it, but this, this video really got me going as far as Mandela Effect. This, this, has got to be, this has got to be the premier Mandela Effect for me, okay? Might not be for anybody else, but for me, this is the number one primo Mandela Effect, bar none, okay? But I don't want to spoil it. But, um, you know, now, I know there's going to be, you know, there's going to be the usual people from this reality, this paradigm, that are going to say, ah, shit's always been there, Von Helm's crazy, you know, but see, to those of us that came from the arm of Sagittarius, it's like, oh, no, 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 that shit wasn't there before, this is new, this is new, this is wild, this is amazing, I mean, it really is amazing, for me, all right, for me, you know, I can't speak for anybody else. But this is amazing for me. And no, it did not exist. I assure you, it did not exist. Not in my timeline. Not from the arm of Sagittarius. Not that I remember. But, you know, we're going we're gonna to get down to the nitty gritty on this thing. Because it, this is just, it's just amazing. It is literally amazing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I've got a message for all the scumbags, losers, killers, and haters of this world. Evil must be punished. It has happened. It has happened. What did I say? I pointed my finger into the camera and I said, Who is thinking? Who is thinking? Who is thinking? Who is thinking? What the fuck is So Shit stained diaper boy here at the eight o'clock hour. I don't give a company fuck about your moral conundrum, you meat headed shit sack. Didn't wake up too early this morning, but then I didn't wake up too late. Put up my shoes. They have a saying out here. I know a guy. I was feeling kind of energetic, but I was also feeling sedate. I got the guy. Having to be the things in life that I appreciate. I go outside to my ride and I pull out the drive and I switch it to cruise control. Then I decide to abide by the traffic guide because that's the way I roll. I'm the anticipated, long awaited, never hated motherfucking OG. I'm easily sedated, slightly jaded, lower graded, and unhappy. Fuck you! Fuck I never you! Take it fuck lightly you! When fuck you! Fuck you! Fucking with me. But I will always have a heart to heart and act politely if they disagree. My bros always knows when they're dealing with hoes and they be fucking with each other's wives. When in the throes, I expose what I knows. I suppose I help them by not taking sides. I'm a hard crack pipe hit nigger in the hood and I'm gonna make you my bitch. But I endeavor to never really ever sever a brother and I love my mom to bits. I'm a nigger with weed and a bitch in my crib and she be smoking my whole plantation. But realistically, I back the women's lib and I'm actually a Caucasian. That means I'm white. I never say things twice, twice. I'm pretty concise like sugar and spice. I'm as cold as ice, hot like fried rice, indefinite and precise. Expensive and high priced, flavorless and spiced. I'm nice. I'm a motherfucking gangster. Folks, beware I'm of anyone, nice. human or extraterrestrial, that tells you to lay down your weapon. Atheism. Fucking just did a number on his brain. Okay, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Right? And uh, he just couldn't deal with it or whatever. And this is just the beginning, but now it is. There you go. Be ashamed if something was to happen. I mean, it would just be a shame. So now you get your anti American pinhead communist teachers to come on, on YouTube and debate me because I will eat their lunch.
There you go. Little mini pizza. There it is, made. And I would love to see President Trump turn the screws on Congress to pass meaningful internet legislation guaranteeing my rights on the internet, which I currently have none. I mean, Facebook can ban me, Twitter can ban me, YouTube can ban me, Daily Motion can ban me, Lively can ban me, and I have no recourse. I have absolutely no recourse whatsoever, even though I may only be expressing my freedom of speech. Now you say, well, Vaughn, doesn't this help the trolls either? No, because slander, defamation, libel, those are not free speech or fair use. Those are crimes. They might be civil crimes. I got them right crimes. here saying that they contacted my mother and got them to quit it got her to quit hiring people to clean my house so that they could call CPS and tell them my house was dirty. I'm looking at the video right here. It's called Real Von Help and Unpit Father. Lazy fucking moron. This well, lazy muck fucking moron is why you're not speaking Russian right now, dumbass. <laughs> You fucking bitch. Me and people like me during the Cold War she kept your ass from speaking Russian. Do you have any idea joke. how close we were to full blown World War Three? I bet you're you don't do you. Because you're too fucking conceited. You're a goddamn narcissist. You need your ass kicked out of here. But now you ain't gonna do it, unfortunately. By the way, folks, uh, you will notice below the Patreon account and the PayPal account. Still waiting for someone. To break that $100 ceiling on Patreon, which has not yet been broken, you can be the first. You can be the first one to break the $100 ceiling on my Patreon account and go into history. Yep, they love to watch Von eat, don't they? Maybe they'll actually hit the um, super chat if, if I eat this pizza, you reckon? <laughs> Are you trolls and haters going to hit the super chat if I eat this pizza? Give me a couple hundred bucks. See, if you give me, the reason why I say you have to give me a couple hundred bucks is because YouTube literally gets half of the super chat money. All right. So if you want me to have $200, let's say, let's say you want to give me $200. You have to put $400 in the super chat. If you want me to have $100, you have to put $200 in, you know, and so on. YouTube literally takes half the money. So if you only put two cents in the super chat, YouTube gets a penny. It's true. It's true. Look it up. My kids have never been starved. My kids have never went hungry. My kids are, are they've never went without food. In fact, my kids are eating me out of fucking house and home. I had to make a donut run this morning because they had ate all the fucking donuts. Starving to death my ass. My kids are treated better. My kids are eating pheasant under glass. Do you eat pheasant under glass, motherfucker? Yeah, now turn around and lay an egg on the glass. Ah, oh, yeah. I defy you to tell me exactly what's wrong with this. As we're going to see, uh, there's some things going on that um, just don't make any damn sense to me. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it. All right. show you the only fish dinner that I've ever seen that's microwavable I have not seen another one there is a fish sandwich that's microwavable but fish dinners that's the only one I'm aware of it's made by Schwann's and is absolutely delicious all right folks I am once again eating uh, this is Schwann's spaghetti dinner and uh, I'm going to consume it so um, I'm going to eat while we're talking. Yes, God damn it! Spoon. My name in the magazine. Spoon.
spoon. Anyway, okay, yes, I'm going to eat it with a spoon because the trolls and the haters absolutely pull their fucking hair out when I do. So yes, I'm gonna eat it with a spoon. Anyway. Wow. <laughs> yeah, boy, yeah, so come and quit. Come look at the he's and eating spaghetti with a spoon. What we need is start having children. Hello? That's what we need to have. Instead of replacing us. See, what the, what the elites and even some of our government want to do is they want to replace us Americans with a bunch of third world country people. Why? Because the third world country people don't know who Rockefeller is. They don't know who Rothschild is. They don't understand government. They don't understand what a republic is versus a democracy. They held... Half of them don't even know what a democracy is. They're coming from socialism, and some of them are even coming from flat-out communism. And so they have no concept about these things, and nor do they care. You know, so yes, the elites want to replace us here in America with, with these third-world people that don't know what's going on. Because they're easier to control. They're easier to manipulate. Now, they don't know who David Rockefeller is. They don't know who Evelyn de Rothschild is. They don't know who Andrew Carnegie is. They don't know who, uh, who, uh, um, um, <laughs> Greenlock, um, shit, the guy with the bank, uh, Thank you, fuck you, bye, boom! I don't like to jerk off name. I don't like to jerk off face. I don't like to jerk off behavior. And I don't like you. Jerk off. You're a cunt. You're a cunt now. You've always been a cunt. I don't do that. I will not for everybody's cocaine. I don't touch it. Uh, unless it's my birthday, something, man, a special occasion. I'll get out that pipe and, and I'll base. I want free everybody's cocaine if I'm, if I'm uh, behind the wheel of a car. I won't do it. If I'm dying in the car, I won't do it. Unless, you know, you stopped in traffic. You know you're going to bear a while. No, no, radio. I'll pull out that pipe and I'll base. But I will, I will not for everybody's cocaine. Oh, uh, if I'm, uh, if I'm in church, I will not be by cocaine in church. It's unless, you know, it's during a hymn and I don't like something. <laughs> I might get out there pipe and I'm basing it and I, 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 well, I admit it. And I won't do it during the sermon, though. I will not be by cocaine in church during the sermon unless, you know, unless I've heard it before. Unless, you know, I've heard that song, I won't hear something. same thing. <laughs> you just won't sit there and do nothing. So I'll get out that pipe and I'll base. But I won't, I won't do it. Uh, I won't, I will, I will not do it at the altar. I will not, I can tell you right now, I've been through that rehab and free basing no longer part of my life. This message brought to you by the Redstone Drug Rehabilitation Center, reminding you to just say nope to dope. The following movie.
movie is rated R. And, and yes, even the mental ward where Andrea is at is a very nice facility. It's a lot nicer than I expected it to be. Let's put it that way. The kids are over at Memo's watching cartoons. Uh, God only knows how long they'll be there because mom tends to not want to watch them. Uh, but if they're over there long enough, I might be able to get a decent hangout out of this. We'll see. And if not, uh, that's fine too. But yeah, um, so so for two days, my kids have not had school because of extreme weather. And um, and it was bitter, bitter cold. And so I put them up in those big sub-zero jackets that I bought for them. Oh, wait, yeah, the troll said I never got anything for my kids. Anyway, I bundled them up in them sub-zero jackets, sent them over to mom's, let them watch cartoons. And um, so here I am, and uh, I'm talking to you, so... Now, whether mom will keep them over there and watch them and let them watch TV, I have no idea. But, you know, I thought I'd give it a, I, I'm doing it on a trial by basis. Because <laughs> she, she tends to not watch, it's, it's really funny now, you know, when the kids are over here with me, mom will sit in her easy chair all day long. Yeah. But the second, that the kids go over there to want to watch cartoons or want to eat or whatever it is that the, the kids want to do. Then suddenly she's got, oh, she's got laundry to do. She's got dishes to do. She's got this, you know. <laughs> but when the kids are not there, when the kids are here at my house and I go over there to see what, what's going on with sitting in the easy chair all day long. <laughs> she waits until the kids want to go over there and then suddenly Oh, I've got shit to do. I got to do all this and all that. And it, it's like, Mom, nobody's believing that shit. Nobody's buying it, you know. But anyway, whatever. Whatever. She is 88 years old, and so uh, therefore, I guess she gets a little leeway in that regard. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm so, not gonna worry uh, about it. is the uh, boob animation in that game really good? Um, it's all right. It's mm. mediocre. Uh, the uh, areola um, variation in the, uh, you know. The there is stuff. now. There, there is now. Oh, There's mods out there that actually allow women to be real women in, in the game. Wow. Wow. Oh, Op yeah. Optional uh, QB care and the whole thing. And the whole thing, yep. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Women are, that... women, are, women are actually women now instead of mannequins wow. or, or, or targets. Uh, do you design uh, guys' wieners and stuff on that game? No, too? no, no. I have nothing to do with that. Huh? Oh, okay. What the I don't. Fuck? I don't have any of you to care. But... Well, I was curious because it wasn't that long ago you were asking for like a mod on Skyrim Two about horses' vaginas, which I found was kind of odd. Well, that's because the guy that was that was putting it out there was going to do some updates, and I wanted the updates for it. But uh, well, why do you want an update for a horse vagina? No, no, I'm not accusing you of that. I'm just saying, like, just out of curiosity, like, why would you care about a mod for horse vaginas in a video game? Because we're, we were going to put female horses in the game, dude. Okay, relax. Okay, it's so not. Why, why do think, they need vaginas on them? Why can't they just be not, generic? Okay, horses? I hate to tell you this, but there really isn't anything weird or creepy or anything about it. We're just, we're just trying to put. We're trying to make the game more real. That's all there is to it. It has nothing to do with being creepy or weird. Or, well, horse or vaginas in a video shit. game is pretty weird. I'm not saying that you're into it. I'm just saying that it is a weird request. You'd have to admit, if you just like saw it and was like, Well, what? you got to understand that why we're doing it, though, okay? We're doing it to make the game more real, all right? And that's all. That's all there is to it. More real than horse vaginas. There's nothing, there's nothing weird or creepy or crazy about it. We're just. I, I will point out it was a weird coincidence though that your character at the time was a centaur. Hmm. No, my character has never been a centaur. <laughs> centaur yeah, you had a character that had a horse bottom, and then you're asking no, for a horse vagina. No, kind of Well, I'm, I'm curious. Okay, fair enough. Are our assholes <laughs> taken into consideration? <laughs> well? No, we haven't gone that far. That's, no. However, there is a defecation mod should, if you're into that yeah. shit. You well, know, there is a uh, you know, if you're trying to make it all realistic, you know, I, you well, know there is get some attention, too. 
There, there is a deprecation mod if that's what you're into. It's out well, there. You can go down. I haven't it. played that game, but I'm, I'm just curious. Well, I mean, you know, you kind of intimated that you're into that sort of thing. So no, no, no. I, just, I, uh, I, I play games, but I, I don't do uh, mods. So, you know, uh, okay. you don't, at all. You know, yeah. I yeah. really, you're, you're denying yourself if you don't do mods, man, because mods are. Uh, awesome. Well, you know, I, I. I I prefer a real world. There's literally a mod out there for anything you can possibly imagine. Man. Do you still play Star Citizen, Vaughn? Because I know you're heavy into that. Do you lost, still you play Star it. Citizen? Uh, yeah. I am. I am getting ready to go there right now and test out these new video cards. I may have to Star Citizen. That, yeah, it looks pretty cool. You, I think you were at, you were doing mods and that too, because I remember you asking for a mod for uh, yes, to have doing, sex with alien fish women or something like yes, that. Yes, so, yes, I am actually. I'm wanting to put okay. adult content. Uh, the, adult content the, on those? the adult content would only be on the private server, so it would not be on the public servers at all. You would have to log into my private server to get to the adult content. And you have to be 21 or older. So, so you got more than one video card? What did you get? Yes, I have more than one video card. I've got dual, I've got dual monitors, dude. See, so you run dual SLI monitors. or Crossfire? I've got dual monitors. What, what kind of cards do you get? Uh, GTX 950s, uh -huh. and 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, and a, um, a FX uh, CPU, and a brand new motherboard. So I made a major upgrade. I needed. Uh -huh. a, you got them running in crossfire. You'll be able to see those horse vaginas. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry. That's that's nice. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But no, there's a mod out there for anything that suits your fancy, man. All you gotta do is just Google that shit. Well, that, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Realism is a key, man. Making it, making it real. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah. I guess if you can't get a real woman, that that's a good way to go. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, so, so um, yeah. How about uh, I don't know. Anti-foundationalism or something that's uh, um, could be a little bit more interesting than horse vagina modification. Well, that brings up games. an interesting point, actually, yeah. Nadia. I would like to ask you, actually, what would an anti-foundationalist, um, what would his position on horse vaginas actually be? Yeah, there you go. Or um, her. Or her. Not sure. Yeah, I think... Um, <clears throat> From behind, well, I would assume. I, I'm not sure there's a great deal that would directly be spoken of uh, with respect to them. Yeah, by and large, my own kind of philosophical stance might be that, uh, well, animal husbandry entails, uh, I guess, things that might be uh, violations of horses' vaginas. Oh, there we have it. It's a necessity. It's contingent. The husbandry of uh, modern-day uh, animals would be contingent upon the violation of their vaginas. Do they have a uh, Mountain Dew mod? No, that's a little bit before that time. However, however, there is all kinds of different wines and spirits that you can try. Oh, right on. Right on. I don't know. A planet without Mountain Dew and Reese's Pieces sounds kind of lame. Well, never fear. The Fallout 4 is here, and I'm sure the modding community will have your Reese's Pieces and your Mountain Dew ready to go as soon as, I don't know, maybe within a week or a month or something. You never know. Vaughn, I may have to join you on Planet Hilton. It sounds interesting. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I get it made, of course. Well, I'm going to hop out for a bit. I just wanted to say hi to Vaughn. Uh, Jake's in here, so I'm going to go watch paint dry for a while. Talk to you later. Uh, Vaughn will get a rude awakening when Ma Helton dies. No, I will not. No, I will not. No, I will not, because I'm go Vaughn Helton is going to be a very rich man. Long before Ma Helton dies, Vaughn is going to be a very rich man. How many trolls and haters are out there slandering me, libeling me, and defaming my character? How many? How many hate videos are out there? How many pictures of Karate Kyle are on the internet right now? Wait till I wait till I go after all these Karate Kyle pictures. 
using my fucking picture without my consent or permission for years. We're going to teach you how to do And what we're going to teach you in the first episode is a proper stance and a proper kind of feeling. And uh, you got your Judy chop, all right? You got your karate chop, and you got your ninja chop. Now, what smart thing to do is like a, when you use a, a judo chopping, you got to say it, uh, you know, for you beginners, you know, like a judy chop. Because what you don't want to do is like a be a judy chopping and a kung fu kicking, and there goes your leg. You know, there ain't much hollering for a one leg and ninja out there. Right there, hard as a rock, buddy. Let me show you something. Don't have much time, baby. Don't put it in front of your face. I don't want to hurt you. But you got me? And what we're going to do here, we're going to work on the ninja chop. That's what we're going to do. Uh, you're going to ninja chop. Well, that, well, now see, now sometimes it don't always work for an ninja. You know, but it's, it, it practice uh, makes it perfect. Don't go ninja nobody. Don't need ninja. All righty. Now, them things there, if I was put them in my pockets, they'd get me for consumer of a deadly weapons. They say you got your son fella coming at you out in the trailer park. Regular cannon backer, you say? No, says I. Watch this, people. Yeah, we just rolled through the trailer park. What's that? What's that? Ninja store. Where right we're there. at? Right there. Is, um, we are in a big push, it seems to reverse the, the elite's agenda of replacing everyone with Muslims, which is one of their goals, so that's a good thing. I'm watching the news intently as country after country in Europe is finally waking up to the fact that uh, these elite families, the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Morgans, Carnegies, Warburgs, Vanderbilts, etc., are wanting to replace them with Muslims that don't know who Rockefeller is. They don't know who Rothschild is. They don't know who J.P. Morgan is. And they replace them with these people because these people are easily manipulated. They're easily controlled. And there is information out there to suggest that the Catholic Church actually invented Islam out of whole cloth. That there was never any real truth to it. That it was actually invented by the Catholic Church. Now, whether that's true or not, that's, you know... That's, that's neither here nor there. I'm not going to try and, and argue the point for or against on that one. However... However, there is information to indicate that Jesus is actually uh, still the worship of the sun, uh, which the ancient Romans were doing long before uh, Christianity came along or Judaism came along. Um, there is evidence to suggest that um, Jesus is simply a replacement for Helios. Okay? Uh, you know, and there's more and more information. And, and like I said, I, it is my understanding, it is my understanding that there will be groundbreaking evidence that cannot be refuted that all three of the monotheistic religions are BS and that people will, will be awoke to the truth and they'll be like, oh shit, well what do we do now? Well, we'll listen to that evil Von Hilton guy and, and become pagans because it's either that or become an atheist, one or the other. So, uh, so that's, you know, that's coming. It's going to happen and uh, that's just the way it is. It's going to happen. You're a shit bitch. Guess what? I'm American. You're not. Okay. I'm Arabian. Yeah, I'm, I'm Arabian. You're a fucking child molester. Okay. That's what y'all call it. You all are a child molester. I'm in my yard, minding my business, and then we're going fixing my fence I bought. And then you want to pull this shit? You're all a piece of shit. <laughs> Yeah, put that in the court, you bitch. You're a fucking bitch, Jeffrey. You know how bad I want you? I want to fuck you in the ass. Get it? Got it. I got it. I got it all. That dirt dump has to jump over every day. Yeah, I'm fixed. Why would we want to jump over your head? You did your shit. You have done nothing. Won't leave us alone. It's our fence! Stop touching it! It's ours! It's not yours, you dumbass! You're a crackhead! Well, don't fix it! We'll fix it! It's ours! We don't need you to fix our fence! Fuck you! See that? Fuck you! I see it! I'm gonna fix your ass! I'm gonna fix your ass! I'm gonna fix your ass! 
Wow, that's Von Helton's America. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a lot of fun. You know, this next part, it's disturbing. It's funny. It sends up a lot of red flags if you've watched it, and I'm sure most of you have watched this, but we're going to take a look at a little bit of this, and I think you'll recognize the video. It's one of Vaughn's all-time <laughs> biggest hits um, on the creep factor, mostly, um, to, to me, uh, and just being socially retarded. Anyway, uh, without any further ado, uh, you know, let's get into it. Hit it, Carl. Well, guys, if you clicked on this, you're one sad son of a bitch. <laughs> but that's okay, because I'm going to save your ass. I am going to get your motherfucking ass away from any chance of going to federal prison. And that's a good thing, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to go there, right? All right, all these videos on YouTube, how to pick up chicks, what signs to look for, look at their body language, is a woman really interested in you? And all these videos on YouTube are done for one purpose and one purpose only, and that is to get you to click on them, dumbass. Do they really offer anything in the videos? No. They just clickbait. All right, that's all they are is clickbait. And your sorry ass wants a date so bad that you're willing to click on the motherfuckers. The problem is, is that there is only one constant in the universe, and that is money. And we'll get into that in a minute. But for right now, let's get into it. You just know this is going to be creepy. Creepy as fuck. Hmm. Damn. Everybody knows what clickbait is. And I think anybody that makes any type of video at one time or another has maybe tried a little clickbait type thing to get them to watch a video maybe. You know, um change some algorithms I mean they never seem to work for me I just do what I do but you know this is disturbing we all know what clickbait is have you noticed that literally everything Vaughn talks about he, he thinks that the rest of the world is totally ignorant to what that specific topic is I mean, look at clickbait Right? Who doesn't know what clickbait is? And, you know. But now he's going to keep us out of federal prison again. This is, it, it, it's, it's weird. We're going to talk about this in a minute. But let, let's just, let, let's, let's let him continue with this because it's, it's, well, it sends up a few red flags and, you know, it makes you understand a few things, you know. Uh, it's just, you know. As I said in my opening monologue, there is a lot of videos on YouTube. What signs to look for when a woman's interested in you. How to pick up hot chicks and, you know, is this girl really attracted to me and all this, you know. Uh, basically shit videos. Uh, clickbait, we call it. All right. Clickbait is a video that gets you to click on it. Hence the name. You know, um, has absolutely no value whatsoever. No, zero. Sorry, it don't. Um, there is no right or wrong science to a woman because women tend to be more emotional than us guys. Sorry, ladies, it's the truth. All right, and women being the emotional creatures that they are is extremely, extremely difficult to read them. I don't give a damn what some idiot on YouTube tells you. It is extremely difficult to read women. A woman could be smiling at you, and in her head, she's wanting to kill your fucking ass, okay? You can't go by anything, all right? There's no. Women cannot be, you know, you can't, no. You just, okay, you just fucking can't, right? Okay. There is one thing, though, that I guarantee you will attract women, and that is fucking money and power, bitch. And if you got those two things, and it is exuding out of you like fucking the light from the heavens, you will get women, all right? Even when I was poor, I still had money, and therefore I was still able to get women. But guess what kind of women I got? Oh, I got poor women, didn't I? Yeah. See, like attracts like, all right? And money is no different. If you have lots of money, you get women with lots of money or women that want lots of money. If you have a little bit of money, you get women that don't want much money, but at least they want some money, and so, you know, they'll latch on to you, all right? But if you have no money, which is what I currently experienced um, here a while back from the time I lost my, my latest uh, wife to, to up to a point uh, just a few months ago, um, I had no money, nothing, zero, not a zip. You know what? Guess what? Nothing. 
I don't care. I, the gods themselves could have put golden raiment on me, and the women would have never paid attention to me as if I never even fucking existed. All right. But I now have money. And guess what? Go into town, women are now talking to me. Wow, imagine that. You know why that is, motherfucker? Because I got power and I got money. And if you got them two things, women will pick up on it. They have a fucking radar for that shit. All right. But let me tell you honestly, and I'm going to be honest with you, these videos on YouTube will get your fucking ass thrown in federal prison. Now you say, Bond, that's fucking ridiculous. It ain't going to get me. Uh, yeah, actually it is. Rule number one, never, ever, ever approach a woman you don't know unless you're accompanied by at least two friends or a police officer. And you say, well, fine, you're, you're exaggerating. You're being foolish about this. No, no, I'm not. No, I am not. That woman, if you go up to a woman by herself, especially if she's standing alone, and you go up to her by yourself, she can fucking say to that police officer, hey, Mr. Police Officer, come over here. He tried to molest me. He tried to rape me. He tried to insinuate whatever. Your ass goes to jail because it's her word against yours. And who do you think that cop's going to believe? Your sorry white ass or your sorry black ass or your sorry Latino ass or your sorry Asian ass? No. He's going to believe the woman every fucking time. doesn't matter what color skin she has either. He'll believe the woman every fucking time. Every fucking time. That woman could be fucking lying her fucking ass out, and that police officer will believe her. Therefore, she'll believe your white ass or red ass or yellow ass or black ass or brown ass. Okay? She just it, 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 she wins every fucking time. And when it goes to court, it's even fucking worse because it doesn't matter whether the judge is liberal, conservative, independent. It doesn't matter. The judge is always going to side with the woman too. Okay? You are fucked if you approach a strange woman that you don't know without at least two men with you or a police officer. That's the truth. And you better get it up here in your head because your fucking ass will be in Leavenworth breaking big rocks into little rocks if you approach a woman without at least two men with you or uh, – well, two people with you. It could be man or woman or a police officer because all she has to do is say, hey, he was trying to rape me. He was trying to molest me. He was trying to intimidate me, and your fucking ass is gone. And if you think that ain't true, then you're a fucking moron because not only is it true, but they'll do it to you in your fucking workplace too. I, I want to show you this. I, I actually – watching this video, I, I on, a, on a, an envelope I figured I could make. Just a few notes to talk about, you know, with this video and just getting as far as, as we've gotten. Uh, I, I don't write good notes. I really, I really don't. And, and I started like trying to categorize shit really fucking fast and everything. And But I did try to prepare a little bit about it because there's some things that are really fucking. Uh, well, I'd like to know more. You know. Mm, 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 mm. I, I mean, where to start? You know, I, 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 I've worked, and I think most people in, in, in that will ever watch this, or most people in general, um, except unless you're in a specific field, or, or I don't know, but a lot of a lot of uh, companies or employers, you know, they have both men and women in the workforce. And, um, maybe not where you work, but in many places that you go to every fucking day. Uh, grocery stores, medical buildings, uh, hospitals, um, fucking mechanic the other day, you know. Uh, oh, then I went and bought two tires, and there was a, a lady in the, uh, well, good-looking lady in the, uh, uh, in the office there, you know, as a salesman, you know. And, um, you know, we, we said hi, and we did business and everything, you know, and uh, she, she was a very pleasant person. She smiled. I smiled. We had a nice little chat. She may have thought I was a little bit weird, you know, because, but, um, <laughs> it, 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 at, at no time, right, it, it's serious, okay, at, at no time in my life have I ever and, and you meet you meet people every day. I mean, sometimes you know um, you never know when you're going to. Not one time in my life have I ever has it ever crossed my mind. Have I is, is that somehow the person that I may wave at or smile at or uh, chat up in the line or whatever, for whatever reason, right? I've, I've never in my life ever thought, gee, this chick might want to fucking, uh, she, she's going to tell people that, that I tried to do something. With her. You know, I've never, I've, I've never experienced that. I've, I've never had, right? And, and I've, I've, 
like I said, I've, I've been more places than some and, and far less places than others, you know, I mean, but, you know, I, I've been around, I've, I've worked with women, I've met women, I mean, uh, I've met with five new women, uh, you know, in businesses and talked and, and stuff, and I, I can rest assured, I, there were no witnesses either in the office, right? No witnesses, right? Um, oftentimes there isn't a witness. I, I, I just, by, the, by having a witness and having two people with you and a police officer. Um, I, I've never, I've, I've never felt uh, the, the slightest need for that. Um, now I've been in neighborhoods when I wish there was a police officer around for other reasons. And sometimes you're glad the police officer, went around. but you know, it depends on your, you know, but I, let me just, I, I, I got this chicken scratch shit. I never learned how to take notes, but federal prison, Ron's got this fascination. Everything's a federal crime. Everybody's going to federal prison. And I, I think somebody said there's a federal prison somewhere in Kentucky near where he lives. So that's probably, you know, uh, where he, I guess, or, or Leavenworth, you know, I'm sure he likes to send people to Leavenworth too. But, um, you, you know, when, when, you, when you talk about going to sites, like, I, I mean, look, years ago, right, I bought some stupid stuff off the back of a comic book, right? I got, I, I sent in, I think it was 25 cents and got the whole, I was going to be, you know, muscly like uh, Charles Atlas, right? You guys remember that comic book thing, right? I bought a lot of really stupid shit. <laughs> yeah, comic books and stuff like that back in the day. And a lot of kids did, right? Some of the stuff that they said we were going to get in the mail, well, it wasn't exactly what, you know, and that's why they have, like, laws, you know, regulating that shit now. But anyway, if, 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 if you go to a, if, 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 I'm guessing he went to this, you know, and I'm assuming that Vaughn went to this, a website and, and read something or saw a video and uh, tried to imitate what the guy did. Because I don't think Fawn's socially very, uh, well, let's just say, I, I'm, I'm guessing the chicks really don't dig him too much. You know what I'm saying? You know, not that I'm a winner, you know, hey, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not the ladies' man that a lot of people think I am. You know, I'm, I've never had a, a game or, or nothing like that. I mean, uh, so don't, don't think that I'm trying to put myself out there as ever being a ladies' man. You know, um, although I have three ex-wives that have issues with me. But, um, you know, it, it, yeah, what's this? Um, yeah, women only want money and power, you know. When he had no money, you know, he got lesser quality women, right, um, which would explain mouse. You know, when he got, now that he has money, right, which we know where he gets his money from, you know, he, he, he's got money now, right? So he's getting higher quality women. And uh, I just thought that was funny as fuck, man. Um, <laughs> he, he, I, I don't know, any income at all is, well, you got to remember, he thinks that if he gets $2,000 a month, they be able to afford a babysitter and travel around everywhere every month and, you know, report the news, you know, touch things, you know. But uh, I'm trying to stay on these notes. Yeah, but women only want money and power. Like, I've, I've at times uh, in my life made a pretty good living and uh, I've, at times, like, now I'm poor as fuck, you know, I, and in, in different times in between. And I, it, 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 no, that's, you know, I've never had any power, right? Believe it or not, you know, um, I know that's hard to fucking believe, but anyway, 
reading women, you know, they are more emotionally than, than men, you know, because, you know, as Shani for Christ would say, you know, they are the weaker vessel, you know, but, you know, women are emotional creatures, right? Yeah, you know, and I know a lot of women, if you look at them and go, you know what, you're an emotional creature, man. They're going to punch you in the fucking face, right? And make you like it. That's just a fact. Anyway, you can't just walk up to women. Now, like I said, I walk up to, you know, by, you know, passing on a sidewalk or at a business or, you know, in, in multiple places, you know, at the ball game the other night, you know, and uh, just walking up to, I say hi to a lot of people, right? And I, I've never, I, I do, <laughs> I, yeah, I say hi to the mascot and all that shit, um, you know, but uh, I'm like a little kid at the ball game, but never in my life do, you know, some people go, well, that's a weird look you know, long hair and, you know, like this. And, but I always have my hat on and my jersey and, you know, so, but judge not lest you be judged. Any, anyway, at no time, right, when I'm just having fun, you know, um, we went to a dinner, a uh, big dinner not too long ago. Um, I go to a lot of these when, you do, when there's like big family, you know, and, you're always meeting people you've never seen and stuff like that. I talk to people, you know, I mean, um, different sexes are there. I, I never um, in, in my life ever uh, uh, thought that somebody was going to accuse me of something, you know. Um, it just it, it just amazes me that, that, that he goes there, you know. I, I mean, what did he say to some woman? I mean, he probably watched a video, right? Tried to imitate the thing, tried to put his spin on it because, you know, the gods and the prophecy and all that shit, you know. Uh, this is disturbing as fuck, right? Because, you know, he's going to, when he goes out at the public, right? You know, I don't think Vaughn has the ability to have filters. Um, I don't think he knows what they are. Um, and trust me, I am I struggle with filters at times, but at least I'm aware. Uh, and I try to, you know, anyway, we all have issues. But, you know, federal prison, Vaughn's going to keep everybody out of federal prison. You know, every fucking time. You're either going to go to federal prison, he's going to send you there, or he's going to keep you out of federal prison. You know? Oh, I just wanted to show you. Things that everybody's got race cars right now. I've had this thing. It's supposed to be a Firebird or something. I've had this fucking thing. It's a little orange car. It's a. It's nothing. It's, it's you know, it came, I think, in a uh, five for a dollar. We were having fun with see, you know, Look at me, I've got a desk full of worthless shit. Yeah, you know, you'd be surprised what I have. But anyway, for some strange reason, I needed some really, uh, oh, I told somebody I was going to buy them a car. <laughs> so this is what they got. Um, and, but, I, you know, I've had it for 12 years, 10 years, something like, you know, it's just, I don't throw away the good stuff, you know. Um, but the Hot Wheels thing. You know, Bond's going to make money with Hot Wheels, making parachutes and stuff. And I don't understand why they need parachutes, you know, and, and then Bond's going to use these swatches of clothes and, you know, because he's a bachelor again and or something. I don't fucking know, but, you know. <laughs> you know, well, he's retired. You know, Bond's retired. He, he's retired from being the Punisher. You know, uh, if you remember that video, uh, he's not no longer the Punisher. Uh, he's retired, you know, and, uh, you know, he's using this time to, uh, you know, spend his retirement, um, you know, and leisure time. Because, you know, 
most 55 year old men are out water skiing and boating you know just look at those commercials you know that's what they're doing you know and Vaughn could have taken his retirement back when he was 45 when they sent him that letter that I don't think anybody's ever literally got before but he has it somewhere in the back you know he's kept it for 10 years it says he can take his retirement now or he can wait for to you know to be older you can you know and, and, you, know, you, you, get, you take a pay cut if you take it early and, uh, I don't think Vaughn understand maybe he does maybe he's confused as fuck uh, maybe a pension you know uh, you know taking a pension early sometimes people take retirement early from a, from a for, you know you, you know um, and firefighters, please. you know, a lot of union people, when they start getting older, they can take retirement early. Um, and, you know, they'll, you know, still get their bump. But anyway, you know, but, and, and, and Vaughn's equating that to um, uh, Social Security. Um, and, and being a, you know, um, disabled vet, right? It's the fact that he says that. You know, it was <laughs> anyway, uh wanna make a big shout out to Bozo, Mute to Bozo for um uh, well, apparently volunteering to be a part of this video. And um Irv the sad catfish, I think it is. Um I I've seen this guy. You know, his videos, and he inspires me, right? Um, he gets up there and just goes off, and that's a beautiful fucking thing. Um, I like seeing that. You know, because Vaughn claims that all the trolls are faceless, you know, and hide behind avatars and everything, and, you know, that's just not me. Uh Irv the sad catfish. He gets up on camera, man. He, I, I think his presentation and it is is splendid. I I enjoy that. Uh, Carl got a boner, right? He heard that. And he was like screaming. He goes, "I've got some music for that." And um, but I I don't have his permission, and uh, although I don't know that he would have a problem with it, uh, you know, or legal. Our legal team is uh, already right now, uh, well, we're fighting off some uh, legal lulls battles and uh, in the trenches, and we're just trying to sweep things under the rug right now and stay as low-key as possible. Um, anyway, uh, Yvonne wonders why he can't get a girlfriend, right? I, well, first of all, look at him, you know, and, and I'm not ugly shaming him or, well, <laughs> yeah, he, like, you know, he looks like he's 75 or 80 fucking years old and he's only 55, right? Uh, he's got a big fucking ass. If there's not a diaper in there, then he's, well, anyway, that's just, uh, we won't go there right now. But anyway... Red flags. Mm. Did I show you my back scratcher? These things are fucking great. And you can get them for like a buck, you know? Um, they're really good for, you know, scratching yourself, picking your nose, and smacking the can around a little bit. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we here at the Fun Brigade a uh, subsidiary of uh, Grampy Lobster Ministries, Secular Lobster Ministries, Clam Shack, Chili House, House of Reprobation, and Land of Wolves. We would love to thank you for following this entire fucking video. If you've watched this entire fucking video and you give it a thumbs up, well, that's, that's what makes us happy. If you give us a thumbs down, well, that makes us happy as well. We're just glad that you watched this entire fucking thing. And, uh, 
That's all the support we need. So, before I get all perplexed and emotional and stuff like that, I'd like to bid you guys adieu. Bye-bye.